The chiefs of Britain's three intelligence agencies will appear in front of MPs tomorrow to answer live questions for the first time in their history. MI5, MI6 and particularly GCHQ will be asked how they harvest data from internet traffic on an industrial scale. Leaks from the former intelligence contractor, Edward Snowden, revealed the existence of the Tempora programme, where GCHQ gathers vast amounts of personal data. At the centre of these concerns, a GCHQ listening post at Bude in North Cornwall, Cornwall, a site which intercepts communications from the transatlantic cables that carry internet traffic. Tonight, we'll be debating the clash of security versus privacy and investigating how easy it is for anyone to snoop on your smartphone with just a few hundred pounds worth of kit. But first, our science editor, Tom Clark, has been debuted to investigate the shadowy Tempora system. The holiday season ended months ago, but here on the North Cornish coast, spying season lasts all year round. It's not the sand and the surf of Widmouth Bay that draws in the spooks, but what lies beneath it. Subsea fibre optic cables that land here carry most of the world's transatlantic telephone and internet traffic. And it's here where we try to pick up the trail of the largest data snooping project of all time. Well, it turns out you don't have to hack into the GCHQ mainframe to figure out where the cables come ashore. But what we're only just beginning to find out is just how much of our personal phone calls, emails and internet searches are being hoovered up by national spy agencies in the name of security. The scale of the spying has only just dawned on most of us after a string of leaks. Since 2011, Britain's GCHQ and America's National Security Agency have tapped into as many as 200 data cables. A project called Tempora siphons off, stores, then sifts through petabytes of phone and internet traffic every day in search of intelligence. It should come as no surprise then that just a couple of miles up the coast from Widmouth Bay is GCHQ Bude, one of Britain's biggest secret spying stations. In the shadow of the satellite dishes, there's a row of cottages. So what do the neighbours think? Yeah, I find them quite interesting actually driving past. Um, always want to know what properly goes on in there, but... Do you ever get to find out? No. So they can trust the locals, it seems but not everyone on the inside. Leaks to the media by Edward Snowden have established that GCHQ Bude is central to Britain and America's vast data gathering project called Tempora. It's also showing just how important an outpost this is for the National Security Agency in America. They recently gave £15.5 million of US taxpayers' money to upgrade this facility. Geographically, GCHQ Bude is ideally located to tap into the cable network, but Snowden's leaks indicate the data might be coming to GCHQ on a plate obtained with the cooperation, willing or otherwise, of telecoms companies. And in the local 13th century pub, everyone's got a spy story. How do you spot a spy in a local pub? Easy. He's got an American accent. <laughs> Easy. What they do, they order burger, chips and coke. <laughs> and, and are very polite. Yes. <laughs> they're giveaways. <laughs> no, but they do come in occasionally. We have seen them. Some people say they've gone over the top uh, in what they do, but we don't know what they do. And uh, providing it doesn't affect us personally, and so long as you don't do anything wrong, it shouldn't. We've known for years that GCHQ has listened in, but the understanding was they were carefully picking out the information that mattered, not taking every grain of data that floods to and from our shores with the possible help of companies we trust with our privacy. Turbulent times ahead then for our spy masters. Tom Clark, Channel 4 News in Cornwall.